Hey everybody, Bill Wilson here with Chef Daniel Costa and we are making another pasta dish for you today. What are we making today? We are making a dish called aglio e olio, which means garlic and olive oil. That sounds really simple, but it does lead me into one thing I've always wanted to ask you. What kind of dry pasta do you use at home? I generally use Rusticella di Abruzzo. So this is a really good quality pasta that you can buy at Italian Center Shop. And we also bring in this pasta called Verini. So this is probably my favorite pasta. This is what we cook with uh, for certain dishes at Uccellino. For those of you who don't know, Daniel owns Corso 32, Barbarico, and Uccellino. Yes. So you are constantly, it seems, at one of the restaurants, or all three in a day. Yes. How is it that you can come home and still have passion to cook for your family as well? You know, I've always loved cooking at home. I think it's one of the reasons why I love cooking in the restaurants. I just, I absolutely still love cooking. How do we get going? So we have our boiling water and we are going to salt it fairly aggressively. They say that you want to salt it as salty as the sea. Wow. I do not agree uh, with that. That's a little bit too salty, but I generally salt slightly under. Then we'll take our pasta. This, we're using the virini and I like to just do a little twist. That's exactly what it looks like when I do it. And then to start our sauce, we are going to start with a little bit of olive oil. We add our whole cloves of garlic in here, some chili to give some spice. So aglio olio is a dish that you see throughout all of Italy. Um, it's generally a pasta that you would make late night or just for a very quick lunch or a very quick dinner. It's something that you would make when you're on the go. You don't want the garlic to burn, but you want the garlic to take on a little bit of color. Just like this, see? It's not burnt, it's golden, it's done its job, it's flavored the olive oil. And you can take it out if you want or you can eat them, like we generally eat them in our family. <laughs> That's so, yeah, first date food, is it? A little bit of white wine, that just stops the cooking process. So is this a dish you made a lot growing up? So this was definitely a dish that I would make, or my father would make with me. Uh, particularly in the summer, if we had been working out in the garden, and we just wanted to have a quick lunch together, I remember I would get a little tiny glass of white wine with some 7-Up in it so that I could start to kind of taste wine at a young age. Was your dad the cook in the family growing up a lot? Both my parents cooked. Um, my mom is German, my father is from southern Italy, uh, so I obviously went more towards the Italian route. Is he going to make this better than you or are you the master now? I'm not going to say that on TV. <laughs> so particularly because we're going to be... Um, cooking it a little bit further in in the uh, in our sauce, mm. we want to take it out when it's quite al dente. You want, to, you want to have a little bit of that texture. Now you do not drain that and rinse it and all no. of that nonsense, right? No, that is an absolute sin in my world. You, <laughs> you absolutely do not rinse pasta because you're rinsing away all the, the goodness that you actually want to keep. We are going to add a little bit of the pasta cooking water, like so, and I'm going to finish cooking it inside of the pasta cooking water. So what we want to do is just roughly chop the parsley. We do not want to cut it too fine. So we want to cook the pasta until it's nice and reduced. And see how you can kind of see this creaminess coming? We want to turn the heat off and we are going to add in our parsley. I like a lot of parsley in this. And we're going to add in a nice handful of very sharp pecorino romano. And we stir. That's the, that's the sound that we're also looking for, by the way. This dish is something that some people would eat late night, maybe after a late night of also... Uh, of a little too much of this? A little too much vino, right? So I get to eat now, right? Yeah. All right. Give it a try. Are you gonna share? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Mm. A lot of flavor. Yeah, that's what I get from it really is the, the, the overwhelming simplicity, but the, the pasta's got really nice chew to it, yeah. and it's just a really simple sauce. It tastes like you could eat that whole pan, yes. which I might. I might eat that whole pan. I definitely have. Yeah. It's just really, really simple. It's peasant food. Well, thank you very much. That's good eats. Just like at the restaurant, <laughs> except I didn't have to pay this time. <laughs> <laughs>